travel the cold lane. Of course, I came to show you shrapnel. Hello, this is Wicked Shrapnel, and I have a hardcore search and destroy on bailout. And I love hardcore search and destroy. I haven't been playing as much of it in the past week or so as I had been. Uh, I went on a hardcore search and destroy kick where that's all I wanted to play was hardcore search and destroy. But I've been switching it up with some hardcore mosh pit just to get some different game types in. Because I do like uh, hardcore domination. And I'm also using a different gun just to satisfy some people that just can't stand seeing the ump. Even though the ump is my favorite gun, I switched it up to a different SMG. I'm rocking the MP5 with a silencer. And I'm using lightweight Marathon and Ninja, the Claymore, and I believe stun grenades, which I don't use. And I'd like to just talk about the actual game this time. We've got a sniper that's camped up in that building. It's going to be hard to get to him, and I figured he was going to pop up over the ledge and shoot me, so I was going to go all the way around through A, come back around to get him. And I wanted to play in a Claymore just in case he did get me and someone else is alive and he came around this way to A, I'd be able to get him. So I know he's up there. And I'm just planning on waiting him out because I don't know if he's got a Claymore up there or really what's going on, so I'm just going to wait for him to come to me. It's all up to you now. So, the mission. so I was all that's left, so he felt comfortable to come down. And that was his mistake. I hadn't checked the uh, scoreboard to see how many people were left. I thought that was the last one left. So I've got no idea where the other guy is, but... I know I only got a minute left, so I gotta go for the bomb plant. And since this the bomb's on the stairs, I was thinking maybe he was uh, up in these windows. So I was checking the windows up there because you could break that glass and jump from the railing up into those windows. And I didn't want to go all the way up the stairs because he could have been camping in the little room upstairs as well. And if I was really thinking about what I was doing, I wouldn't have planted the bomb on that side. But it all worked out, so it doesn't really matter. Because if I was going to go out the front door, I should have planted it towards the front door. So if he came from behind and I was from the pool and I was out the front door, he would have to come around to the side where I could see him and shoot him. The side that I planted on, I should have ran over like by the pop machines. But I didn't. And so there's some parts l lucky timing in this video but all the stars align and the bullets do not hit me and I was totally not expecting a predator right here I thought I was pulling calling up a UAV and out comes a predator it's totally not ready for it and I don't even think that I use my UAV this whole game I, f I forgot about it and it would have actually come in handy. So tell me what you guys think about the uh, the beats in the background. It's from uh, Atmosphere Shrapnel song. So it's just kind of some beats and then every once in a while Atmosphere says Shrapnel. So I thought it was kind of cool to put it's kind of the background music. Gives it a little soothing vibe. You're listening to W. KZBN, Wicked Shrapnel Radio, all Call of Duty all the time. And here, I didn't even notice the sniper. And then, oh, there he is. So right when I, in, in the game winning, or round winning kill cam, you totally noticed him there, but I didn't see him. He was just blending in. The urban sniper blending into his surroundings. 
And I like, I'm liking the MP5. I think it has more rounds per minute come out of it than the ump does, so each bullet doesn't do as much damage as the ump, but you get more bullets out quicker, so for close range combat, I think it is actually more deadly than the ump. But when you gotta go medium to long range is when it's not quite as effective. And I know I've heard in the comments that the MP5 is some people's favorites, so tell me what uh, attachments you use on the MP5 and what works best for you. So here is the Motherload Grand Finale. That guy, that guy, got a Harrier, go for the Harrier, ah, Claymore! Didn't even get to call in the Harrier. Sometimes it's hard being a Claymore planting master because your Claymores are so effective. But I killed three people like within five seconds. So that's how it went down. And I did it without an ump. 4 0. With me going 9 0. I think that's one of the first decent, flawless games on Search and Destroy I've had in a while. So I was happy to get that. Just got it tonight. Wanted to get it up on YouTube as quick as possible because I'm proud of it. So I hope you enjoyed it. And please share this video on Facebook and Twitter. And if you can like it, subscribe if you haven't subscribed. And that's it. Until next time, talk to you later. Interested in Black Ops single player walkthroughs and tutorials? Click on the screen now to be taken to my Black Ops single player gaming channel where all my Black Ops single player videos will be posted.